Nowadays, almost all vehicles have an onboard diagnostic, which records faults in the vehicle and store the possible causes in a fault code memory. You should therefore first of all read out the fault code memory. This can be done using any OBD compatible engine tester. The OBD detects a malfunction, but does not always identify the actual cause. Prior to installing a new air mass sensor, you should therefore check the old sensor first. Please note the pin assignment of the air mass sensor and the vehicle circuit diagram. The pin assignment, test procedures and test values for the sensors described here can be found on our website, for example in the service information SI79. The check can be carried out with a voltmeter, an oscilloscope or using the appropriate engine tester functions. If no special testing cable is available, the measuring instrument can be connected to the back of the plug using corresponding test tips. In doing so, do not pierce the lines. Water could penetrate and lead to corrosion of the lines. Make sure that the gaskets in the plug are not damaged. When the ignition is on, there should be an onboard voltage of approximately 12 volts between pin 2 and the vehicle ground. Alternatively, the onboard voltage may also be measured between pin 2 and pin 3. There is a sensor voltage of approximately 5 volts between pin 3 and pin 4. If these values are not reached, all affected lines and plugs must be checked for short circuits, interruption and transition resistances. While the engine is stopped, the output voltage between pin 3 and pin 5 is approximately 1 volt. If the measurement is falsified by a draught, both ends of the measuring tube should be closed using suitable means. Start the engine. When the engine is at operating temperature, you should obtain a measurement of 1.2 to 1.8 volt. During a burst of throttle up to maximum governed speed, 3.6 volts to 4.4 volts must be reached. An oscilloscope is more suitable for this measurement, as it reacts less sluggishly than the multimeter display. If the measured values have been reached, the AMOS sensor is OK and another area must be investigated for the fault. This could be, for example, impurities in the intake air, soiled or incorrect air filters, or leakages in the intake air system. In addition, stuck intake manifold flaps, stuck EGR valves, or deposits on the throttle valve can cause the signal from an intact air mass sensor to deviate from the calculated setpoint value and so cause an entry in the fault code memory.